Hello everyone, my name is Michael Gibson. I've lived in Moscow 25 years. Today I want to tell you about one of my favorite places in the capital, Veryanka. This year, it's its 80th anniversary. You can get here by car or by metro. The nearest metro station is Veryanka, which is located about a five to seven minute walk away. You can also get here by bus or by monorail. Incidentally, I highly recommend an excursion on the monorail. It's loads of fun. You can check out details on the mosmetro.ru website and the trains leave regularly about every 30 minutes. We just went through the central arch, the grand majestic entrance to Vinayaka, or as it's known in full, the exhibition of achievements of the national economy. The admission is free and you can enter Vinayaka round the clock, that is to say you can wander around the park day and night, though some of the pavilions have their own schedules and opening times. There are three good reasons to visit Vidyanka. Firstly, winter's coming soon and Vidyanka will build two large outdoor ice skating rinks and a child's ice skating rink. Last year they even had a hill for sledging and the Vidyanka ice skating rink in 2017 was the largest in Europe. Secondly, this vast territory of 235 hectares has many objects of cultural significance. They have world-class exhibitions and festivals and grand celebration days. All these things you can check out in great detail on the Vidyanka official website. And by the way, last year, more than 30 million people came to visit Vidyanka. And thirdly, looking into the future, by 2021, Vidyanka will have Europe's largest Ferris wheel at 136 meters. The central alley is where we see the famous main pavilion, which is richly decorated in Soviet iconography. Behind the main pavilion is the famous fountain, the Friendship of Nations, which has this year, with many other objects, been renovated for the 80th anniversary of the park. Vinyaka is vast, and I recommend a whole day to visit and explore all its wonders and secrets. The signage here is in English, which is very helpful, and you can pick up a very handy map at a kiosk by the entrance. No wonder the exhibition of achievements of the national economy, or Vedyanka, is called an open-air museum. Here is one of the most interesting places, the industrial square, to the edge of which is the famous pavilion number 34, also known as the Cosmos Pavilion, a building of great cultural significance. This is Russia's largest space museum complex, the Cosmonautics and Aviation Centre at Vedyanka. The entrance is paid and they have excursions in Russian and English. Right now I'm surrounded by famous achievements of Soviet engineering. Helicopters, civil aviation, jet fighters, Buran spacecraft and of course the legendary Vostok rocket.
There's so much to see in Vinayaka that it's already become dark. So not so far from the Cosmos Pavilion is another unique and famous pavilion. The Moskvarium is the largest in Europe and the only oceanarium in the world to be located so far from oceans and the seashore. There are fantastic belugas, killer whales and dolphins here. And in the aquarium you can find hundreds of examples of weird and wonderful species of fish. Another pavilion which you absolutely must visit is the wonderful maquette of Moscow. The admission is totally free and here you'll find all the city centre beautifully recreated at a scale of 1 to 400. Almost 20,000 buildings inside the garden ring and some just outside it. The main distinctive features of the layout of Moscow is that all of the buildings are made with jewel-like precision. The layout has a unique smart lighting system. This allows visitors to see the city at different times of day and highlight individual objects. And if you book in advance, you can even have a tour in English. To the right of the main pavilion, you can pop into McDonald's for a bite to eat. In general, anyone can find a cafe to their liking in Vinayaka, car, from stalls to pretzels to serious restaurants. But for me, I'm off to McDonald's. One could talk about video cab for hours. As you can see, it's already dark. We've been here so long. There's just so much to see from landscape gardens to exhibitions to pavilions to educational programs. So if you're in Moscow, I heartily recommend to check out Vidyaka. It's so unique, a combination of Soviet history and Russia's future. You've really got to come and see it with your own eyes. Mm -hmm.